I never paid attention to the music in this area. It's fucking... It's, it's bopping. It's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard. Aren't I a good Samaritan? That's a big word for a child. I'm supposed to be like fucking five years old playing this game. This is back in the day where we didn't fucking treat kids like they were fucking mentally incapable. And we gave them big words. Nowadays, kids don't even fucking read. Like, I kid you not, I know like fucking ten year olds that don't know how to feed themselves. And before you say, oh, are they on the spectrum? No. Nah. No, that's not. No. No, they're just... They're just so, like... <laughs> kids. Uh, well, not really. You know what? Shouldn't really be blaming the kids. Should be blaming the dumbass parents. Right? They fucking... They don't... They don't give their kids the time of day anymore. They just put them in front of a fucking... In front of a fucking iPad. If I ever have a child, motherfucker's not getting a phone until they're, like, 13, maybe 16. Or until I know you're mentally capable enough to fucking handle it without acting like an idiot. Especially something like TikTok. Oh my god. I'm not I'm not gonna go on a whole rant, but I'm just saying. Kids shouldn't be able to post videos of themselves online. I'm I'm just saying, man. That should be hell no. Bunch of fucking freaks out there watching shit like that. Um Fucking What was I gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna throw worthless. Oh well, I gotta call. I gotta call Elm. I forgot to do that. Prof Elm. Hello, Fire. How's the egg? What hatch? Wow. What kind of Pokemon is it? Please come show me now. I'm not doing no such thing. You can. Your bitch ass can wait until, until I fucking, until I goddamn learn fly and get over there. Um, hell no, I'm not dropping everything I got right now to go and show you the fucking Pokemon. You kidding me? Who the hell do you think you are? Did I meet Bill already? I already met Bill? It says Bill PC. I, I think I met him already. Box one. Oh, I forgot. This is old Pokemon. You gotta go to deposit. There you go. Get your worthless ass in there. I don't need you. Taking up space. I also don't remember where to get all the items from. Like talking to people, but you know what? This game still has limited inventory, so I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, here in uh What's the fucking name of this place? Here in Azalea Town. We gotta head over to uh our boy Kurt, right? Hmm? Who are you? Eh, you want me to make some balls? You want me to fucking play with some balls? I'll play with some balls. You need an adult, though. Sorry, but that, that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll tell you anyways. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have, uh, they're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyways, they're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. So I'm gonna go give them the good one, too. Motherfucker showed up to McDonald's. They said, Fucking, I want a 12 piece. And I said, Oh man, that's crazy because I only got this two piece. Uh, uh. Started beating them up. Hang on, Slowpoke. Oh, Kurt's on his way with his fucking mohawk. I'm sorry, who are you, little child? I We just kind of left you by yourself. Grandpa's gone. I'm so lonely. Oh. Listen to me, child. You fucking locked the door. Shit's about to go down. Oh, yeah, there's a gym here. Oh, yeah, we can't go into the gym until after we do the thing with Kurt. All right. Yeah, uh, that boy's gonna be taking the charge in that gym as well, because, uh... If Faulkner, if Faulkner was able to kick my ass, fucking Bugsy's gonna beat the shit out of me. Hey there, fire. The guard up top took off when I shouted at him. Fucking saw a crazy-ass old man on, like, bath salts coming after me. He said, oh, shit. But then I took a tumble... <laughs> I took a tumble down the well. <laughs> Just fell down the well. I slammed down hard on my back. So I can't move. Rats. If I were fit, my Pokemon... Even if you were fit, I think you landed on like a fucking jagged ass floor right on your back. Probably would render you... It would render you useless, right? I would have punished them. Ah, uh, I can't be helped. 
Fire, show them how gutsy you are in my place. I'm like fucking 10, maybe 12 years old at most. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked already. Fucking Kurt sitting there like, show them, show them in my place. And I'm fucking getting mauled by a goddamn Zubat and he's on the floor paralyzed. He's like, you can do it. It didn't affect me. You can't confuse, you can't confuse that boy because he's already stupid. <laughs> he already doesn't know where the fuck he's at. That's why he got the goofy ass smile on his face. Darn, I was standing guard up top. When some old coot yelled at me. He startled me so much that I fell down here. I think I've been in my anger by taking it out on you. I think I'm just gonna beat the shit out of a kid. Just pulls out a fucking nightstick. Ah, uh, so Team Rocket's back, right? Apparently they fucking... They got back together... Unbeknownst to Giovanni, right? But, uh... They're still using the same fucking Pokemon. Crush those bones in your body. Take that. It's about to use Rattata. Team Rocket grunts about to use Rattata, and, and I, I'm about to bust. Water gun. Squirtle all over him. Show your dominance. That is a cool ass animation for Quick Attack. I like that animation way better than the future animations where your character just does a fucking circle. Like, that's kinda lame. This one, they fucking use goddamn the Bleach Flash Step. <laughs> no, it's not my day. Stop taking tails? Yeah, just try to defeat all of us. Or, or, better idea, how about I take you out for dinner? Cause girl, you looking fine as fuck. Alright, oh shit, I didn't mean to use water gun. <laughs> Damn it. I wanted to use slam. Fuck. Supersonic! And fucking Live and Learn starts playing. That boy's even more confused than what he was. Don't hurt yourself. Oh my god. See? Zubat can't do much to you, but you're your own worst enemy, right? So when you hurt yourself, it really hurts. Good job, that boy. I love you. Ekans! Did you know that Ekans backwards is snake? Did you, did you know? Did you know? I'm just gonna slowly turn into fucking Did You Know Gaming where like half of the videos are them just repeating themselves. Like seriously, like, I don't hate Did You Know, but fucking... I don't even know if they're relevant anymore. Honestly. Are they still around? <laughs> but um, I don't hate Did You Know. But man, you look at their videos, and like, half of their videos are just them repeating the same exact shit that they said before. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, did you know? Like, yeah, I did know, because you told me fucking 50 times in your other videos. Like, it's worse than the fucking Watch Mojo Top 10. Actually, I guess Watch Mojo's Top 10's been getting better recently. You rotten brat. I mean, top tens, they just... You just gotta, you know... You don't go looking for them, they just find you, and you're just like, You know what? I gotta know. I gotta know what someone else thinks. I'm... I'm that up my own ass... That I must know what other people think. I'm gonna waste my time with you, so bad. Oh yeah, by the way, down here in the Slowpoke Cave, guess what? You can get yourself a Slowpoke, which... If you need a good fucking water psychic type, hell yeah. I fucking love Slowbro. I like, I love Slowbro more than I should. He's got that same dummy strength that I love. But he's smart though, because he's psychic. 
so stupid that he's smart and he don't even know it. <coughs> that sounded like a bad cough. It wasn't a bad cough, I tell you. I have like no phlegm at all. I just have a cough. I just have a cough and like a random tickle in my throat that shows up every now and then. And for the for the immature ones, I guess I'll say it. I got a random dickle in my throat. You happy now? You happy? Are you are you proud of you proud that you're laughing at that? You found that funny? You proud of yourself? Because if you are, now I'm gonna actually do something very, very specific, right? I want you to take that laughter and that sense of humor. And I want you to have a great day with it, alright? There you go. Have a fine day. Humor subjective. Right? I can't blame you for laughing at something. Eh, kind of. D depending on- mm, Depending, maybe. Depending on the time and place, maybe I can blame you. Right? Maybe I can blame you. But man, I mean, comedy comes straight from tragedy, right? So, can't really blame you that much. Oh my god, Zubat's about to fuck me up, but I don't wanna... I wanna miss out on that delicious, delicious experience that you get from killing the Zubat. Because we all know we want that. And with that slam. Oh, I'm confused. I forgot about that. Shit. I'm gonna hurt myself. I'm too powerful for my own good. Don't know my own strength. I do a lot of fucking damage to myself. Oh my god. Just hit him with the slam. That's the one thing I hate about fucking Hooper. It's like, it's inaccurate as fuck if it's not using water gun. You know, I can't blame it though, because motherfucker ain't got no hands. Just too strong. That and I had a potion. <coughs> what do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't expect any mercy. Boys, get over here, and they all just start fucking beating the shit out of the child. Go, Zubat. Like, I, I just need, like, one... I just need, like, one fucking animation of, like, a kid going up to Team Rocket or something and going, I'm gonna defeat you and you'll leave or whatever, and they go, uh-huh, and then one of them just smacks the Pokeball out of his hand, and then they all just start beating the shit out of the kid, and the kid's going to reach for his Pokeball, and then they're just, like, kicking it away from him. They're like, what now? Uh, start beating his ass. It's like the Powerpuff Girls, where like they're beating the shit out of Mojo Jojo, and Buttercup goes, "You want more?" And he's like, "No." <laughs> His brain's all exposed. This shit. That was pretty violent as a kid, you know. Powerpuff Girls, Mojo Jojo's got his brain exposed and shit. Whenever they beat the shit out of him, that's kind of that's really fucked up. But it was funny though. It was really funny. Level 19, damn right. One more level, I think you evolve, actually. Defense 30? Out here getting swole, staying stupid. I love you. You did okay, but wait till next time. What do you mean I did okay? I fucking curve stopped you. What Pokemon that don't even got no fucking hands? Hey, Team Rocket was broken up three years ago. I didn't ask. But we continued our activities underground. I don't care. Now you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. I fucking won't. Oh, look whose back is better now. Way to go, Fire. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better, too. Conveniently better. So, like, when Team Rocket was leaving, was Kurt just sitting there on the floor recuperating from Broken Back and going like, Yeah, you get out of here, you bitch. Fucking spat on one of them. Hi, Fire. You handled yourself like a real hero at the well. I had no choice. I like your style. I would be honored to make balls for you. 
I'd be honored to fucking cradle those balls. A trainer like you, this is all I have now, but take it. It's a lure ball. You use it for when fishing for Pokemon. I make balls from apricots. Apricorns? Apricots? Apricorns, right? Shit. Collect them from trees and bring them to me. I'll make balls out of them. So, <coughs> I do remember that you can come over here and, you know, you get apricorns or cots, whatever the fuck they're called. And you hand him the coat, Kurt, and he makes specific Pokeballs for you. I don't remember which Pokeballs exactly, right? But some of them just don't work as intended, right? You know, this game, they compressed a lot in this game, right? I forgot who, who was that? Was it Satoru Iwata? Was it him that, was it him or was it Miyamoto that fucking did the compression for this game to put all this fucking stuff in it. I think it was Awada. Fucking rest his soul. Wonderful man. Right? Um... But, uh... I think fucking he did the programming for this game. And, you know, he was able to get Kanto inside of here. But, of course, with all that, some bugs made it through the cracks, right? And, you know, it was the olden days, right? So you couldn't just fucking slop in a... fucking slide in a patch upgrade. Right? Those things were features now. Uh, but yeah, certain Pokeballs don't work as intended, right? But since this is a ROM hack, you know, this is a special, my special, uh, fixed Game Boy Color version of this game. Um, the, uh, creator made it so that it works as intended, right? Uh, but, I mean, like, I'm not gonna be sitting here catching them all, right? You know, going into these uh, Pokemon playthroughs, I have a set team in mind that I want, right? And we're gonna go get them. And that's how I operate, so I'm not really gonna need all those special Pokeballs and stuff like that. But that said, there are some Pokeballs that I really love that came out of Gen 2. And it sucks because fucking there's so many different types of Pokeballs. And then fucking, you know, just for like style, style points, I guess, in later games. You want those Pokeballs, because you want to catch those Pokemons with those Pokeballs. That, and some of them are just generally useful in certain situations. But they're not all available in the future games, right? The coding for them is in there, right? And you can, you know, you probably can find an item or get it somewhere, but usually you only get, like, one, one version of that Pokeball and you never get it again, right? So, that sucks. Anyways, time to tackle the goddamn gym, right? Fucking that boy's gonna be taking charge, followed by Maractus. Right? I'm gonna put Mimi in the back. I love you, Mimi, but you're not listening to me. And I'm not dealing with your fucking side wave bullshit right now. Still didn't look up how exactly side wave works, but basically Basically it, it does a random set amount of damage. It's never it's not the same. Hi, are you challenging the leader? No way. Yes way, that's why I'm here. The fuck did you expect? Amy and May. There's no double battles in this game. No, no, no. That's Gen 3. And then Pokemon was changed forever. Right? Hit him with that water gun! Oh, you motherfuckers are gonna put up a fight. Oh, but you failed. Fucking squish that motherfucker. Like a house spider. People are like, oh, I, I captured the spider and I let outside. No, motherfucker, you came in the wrong neighborhood. Your ass ain't paying no rent. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Pokemon's called Ladybug. Uh, Ladybug. Oh, fuck, I can't say it. Ladybug, right? Uh, Ladybug. But my mind read it as they're about to send out Labia. <laughs> and I was like, what? Bug Psychic. Pretty good typing. Don't see too many Bug Psychics, right? Not until later generations. Honestly, I'm trying to think of how many bug psychics there are, and I think there might be only, like, five of them. It's like Ladybug, it's like the new Dung Beetle thing, and fucking Scarlet and Violet. Um, there's, there's, uh, Sun and Moon, they had, no, that wasn't Sun and Moon, that was, that was the, uh, what was that region called? That was Sword and Shield that had the... Was it Sword and Shield? I'm trying to remember right now. 
There's like that weird flying saucer looking Pokemon, I think that was Sword and Shield. Yeah, because it has a Gigantamax form. Uh, and then I, I think there's like two more bug psychic types that I'm really not remembering right now. I feel like, I feel like Venomoth should be one, but it's not. Venomoth is what, bug and poison? But it learns psychic though. I think it learns psychic, right? You do that or you can teach it psychic? I don't know. Pokemon are weird. Cool but weird. Caterpie's adorable, but if I ever saw a Caterpie in real life, I would fucking- I would kill that thing. I would destroy that thing. That thing would be so terrifying. I don't find caterpillars cute. I really don't. I mean, they're kind of- they're kind of adorable, but like, you know, the closer you look at a caterpillar, you're like, you're just a fucking fat little slug thing and- Oh god, you're so- you're so ugly. And fuzzy? And even the ones that aren't fuzzy, it's just fucking- it's like, oh, don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. I'll kill you. Get away from me. But I can't hate you for, for existing, though, because you're kind of cool. But, scary. <laughs> <coughs> uh, I'm going to throw this antidote on because you poisoned my boy right here, and I don't appreciate that. Not one bit. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 stick to the stuff you know. It was like one of the few songs I remember from High School Musical, because Status Quo was a bop. That was a good song. That was a good song. I don't care what anybody says. That was a good song. That and gotta get your head in the game. And then you got fucking High School Musical 2, which I think the only song from that I remember is Bet On It. But that's mainly because Disney Channel kept fucking showing it over and over, like, in between commercials and shit, back when Disney Channels would show their fucking music videos for their fucking Disney Channel direct movies or whatever. That, or you would see fucking What's-Her-Face, uh... My man was doing fucking twirls, what was that about? Fuck Pokemon Evolve Young, so they get stronger that much faster. Yeah, I know, it's kinda cheap. But then once they evolve, it's a pain in the ass to fucking keep leveling them up because they're already, they're already like tier three. But um, fucking what? What is that? What is that girl's name? Bella Thorne, right? Remember Disney Channel kept showing her fucking music video, right? It's like fashion is my crit, the night, the night, the night, the night, night, something like that. And I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, oh my god, shut up. <laughs> that and like fucking Selena Gomez. I love you like a love song, baby. And I keep hitting repeat, peep, peep, peep. <laughs> this is a fucking garbage ass song. I love Metapod and Kakuna because it's the equivalent of someone going like, Go, premature baby. You're not done yet. You gotta cook in the oven a little bit more, but fuck it. Fight my battles for me. Oh, come on. We're so close. We're so close. Beedrill? Fuck, he's got a Derek. Destroy our worlds! Look how ready that Beedrill is. Again, Beedrill's one of those Pokemon that look cool as shit, but if I, ever, if I ever saw in real- I mean, I already see bees in real life and they scared the shit out of me. Right? You ever, like, just mind your own business and then fucking, like, something just flies past you and you're like, what the fuck is that? And then it's just, like, two wasps beating the shit out of each other? And then fucking, like, one of them just starts ripping the other one's legs off and shit. And you're like, what the fuck, man? Alright, I'll put it into this. And you just step on them because fuck those guys. They're wasps. They don't contribute to the environment whatsoever. They exist to be dickheads. So you just fucking, you're just like, I gotta put it into this now. Level 20. Who's that boy? Well, Catcher Benny was defeated. Fuck you, Benny. Just evolving isn't enough. What? That boy's evolving. He's goofy. He's getting hands. He's learning. Look at this dumb, look at this fucking dumb face. I love him. I love him so fucking much. Evolved into Quagmire. I mean Quagsire. 
he's Quagmire, Quagmire, giggity giggity goo. Alright, I'm gonna go kill that boy, right, because he was taking a beating. But he's gonna lead the charge because fucking Mimi can't do it, she'll get her ass kicked. It's daytime, by the way. Hell yeah. It's daytime! <coughs> I don't know if I can get my, uh, our next party member or not. I'm gonna have to look that up. After we beat the shit out of Bugsy. Out of Bubsy the Bobcat. Hell yeah, we're gonna kick his ass. No, uh, Bugsy. I remember back in the day where everyone's losing their mind and they're like, Bugsy's a boy or girl? I don't know, right? I think I'm pretty sure Bugsy's a boy. But, nowadays we're just like, it don't fucking matter. It don't matter. Who cares? I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is, you're a gym leader. You exist to lose. <laughs> My research is gonna make- You research things? It's gonna make me the, uh, uh, the authority on bug Pokemon. Oh yeah, Bugsy is a researcher. It's like a kid prodigy or something, right? Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Bump, 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 bump. Later, Bugsy wants to battle. Since I'm Metapod. Metapod, what? You self-destruct, what? He's Quagsire, Quagsire. Giggity, giggity, goo. We're not playing around here. We're not playing around here. That boy is out here for fucking blood. Better watch out, he don't know what he's doing. He's too stupid. Sometimes I tell him to do a move and I'm not sure if he quite understands. He just fucking does that stupid mouth thing, goes Quagsire, and then just fucking attacks. It looks like, it looks like he's listening to me, but I, I don't know. I don't know what's in his head. It's too dumb. Kakuna! Hit this fucking slam, buddy! Ugh! Yes, I named my Metapod and Kakuna Penis and it used Harden. Ha 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 ha, I'm funny. Don't you dare poison me! Please don't! Alright, let's... Water gun, make sure this... Can't, can't drag this out anymore. Because, we need all the strength for the main threat of Bugsy's team. And that's why that boy's here. Sitting out Scyther. No. So Scyther has a move called Fury Cutter. It's a Bug-type move, right? Scyther is also big attacker, right? Level 17. Kind of a big boost, right? So, threatening, right? I'm not sure if Bugsy has like a potion or super potion out there on Cypher, but what Fairy Cutter does is that the more you use it consecutively, the stronger it becomes. So, your goal here is to get this motherfucker out of here as fast as possible. Slam this bitch. Oh, quick attack. All right, I'd rather take that. That's why we. That's also why we got that boy. He's a fucking tank. He can take hits. That defense is strong. Please get paralyzed by this slam. Oh, it's slam, not body slam. Fuck. Fairy Cutter one. Eating that hit. Mm, that boy get it. Get that money. Critical. My man's so stupid, he don't know what he just did. <laughs> Level 21, let's go. He's not a strong star team. Defense 49, look at that. He's that boy. He's that boy. Leader Bugsy was defeated. Whoa, oh, amazing. You're an expert. You can say that all you want, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure fucking that boy just went into survival mode. Again, he's stupid. He don't know what I was saying to him. That's why he's got a dumbass smile on his face. I love him so much. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. There you go. Whatever. Fuck it. I don't care. I received the Hive Badge. Do you know benefits of Hive Badge? If you have Pokemon up to level 30, it will obey you. Which means... Hey, guess what? Fucking, um, Hex Girl will now listen to us for a bit. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle, too. Here, I also want you to have this. TM49. Alright, if it's something other than Fury Cutter, then I think the, I think whoever made this fucking, this special GBA version, GBA? This special GB, GBC version changed the TMs. Uh, put it in the TM pocket. 
Okay, Fairy Cutter. All right. Uh, if you don't miss, uh, if you don't miss, it gets stronger every turn. If you don't miss, oh, I thought it just gets stronger consecutively. As long as you keep using it over and over, it has to connect though. The longer the battle goes, the better it gets. Or you can fucking learn about a move called Fell Stinger. Oh, I don't, I don't know when that move becomes a thing. I think it's Gen Four, but that move is scary. Isn't that great? I discovered it. Cool, I didn't max. Are you okay? Cause you're tweaking. This boy just keeps turning. Whatever. See you later, bitch. All right, Bugsy defeated. Nice. Now that Bugsy's defeated, I'm gonna heal up at the Pokemon Center. <coughs> and I think we're due for a rival battle, but I'm gonna call it a part here. Well, if you know, if the time add, you know, if if all the editing adds up, then I'll call it a part here. But what I'm gonna do off screen, real quick, in between here and now, I'm just gonna do a quick little bit of research. Make sure, uh, check if we can get our new teammate or not, and if we can't, then we'll just move on. If we can, the next part, we're gonna go grab ourselves a new teammate, right? But right now, I'm pretty proud. I'm also gonna put Mimi at the head of the pack, because that boy needs a break. Because we got plans for that boy. That boy's sticking around, right? And Hex Girl's just gonna be chilling. At some point, we're gonna do some stuff with Hex Girl, but, uh, right now, Hex Girl's just chilling. So, uh, yeah. Save my game. And I will see you guys in the next part, you know? If you like what you see, please leave a like. God damn it, leave a like, right? I got a Twitch in the description on my channel, whatever. You can check that out and follow me on Twitter. That's in the description as well. So, uh, as always, I want to say thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.